Namaste. Time is gold, especially in our modern lives. Although I still recommend everyone should practice maybe a complete hour, yeah, three times per week. Yeah, if you do classes, yeah, you're very lucky, but sometimes all we have is like 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. So for today, let me share with you a short sequence, a complete one. We're going to move our spine in various direction and then do the breathing exercises too. If the breathing exercises are quite heavy for you, you can just breathe normally as we hold that particular technique. All right, so we start really yeah, on our kneeling. Yeah. Knees together, set the hips back and reach and stretch the spine forward. And here you may move a bit of a like wave, so falling from hips to hips and then crawling the shoulders to the front. And let the body settle in the middle. Mm. Balasana. If this is intense, you might just place the forearms down so it's lighter for your lower spine. All right, and then here we settle, you know, inhaling, inspire the breath and allow the breath to pierce the back of the shoulders all the way down to the bottom of the lungs like you're uh, inflating, you're puffing your kidneys there. And exhale, loose. One more, and nourish the lungs. And exhale, soften your body all right forward shoulders over the hands and separate your knees so i were curling your toes so we can press up to downward facing dog and here the head is nodding to the chest and let's massage the legs by walking the heels all right and then from there just lifting to alternate three-legged dog lifting one leg up exhale down and changing all right every time you change just inhale that leg up all right, and just walk again to downward dog, crouch and bend, and lightly sway from side to side. All right, we're threading the right knee through so we can sit between the hands. All right, here we stretch the hips already, and we open yeah, the joints of the low back too. All right, inhale, open up the chest, and exhale, lightly bow down. Breathing in. Flowing the breath already throughout this class, you may breathe the ujjayi. If it's light already, or just your natural breath. Inhale to open up, and exhale to loosen. One more time. Inhale, open, and exhale. All right, from here, power press, hands down, curling the lift foot, push, and step to the back. And as soon as you can, quickly as you can, step your lift foot between the hands. So yeah, help it with the hand if you need, all right. And then right heel, flatten the certain angle. Just a quick alignment check. Heel align with the center of the foot and rise to the first warrior. When this is intense, you can just place your hands right up your hips. It's less for your heart. You can roll shoulders down. And here, moving shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip. All right, forward to your diagonal. All right, you can adjust that back foot a little bit forward because you're twisting. Right elbow hooks across that knee and then turn to your left. All right, make sure that back foot is firmly down. If that heel can touch the floor, you can just square and straighten that back leg. All right, and stay. Breathe this one every time you inhale, lightly push away from the twist. On the exhale, soften that twist and stay. Thousand three, two, and one, and bind the twist and straighten the back foot, right hand pressing down, turn to the side and reach over. All right, if this is intense, you can place that foot in front of you. All right, you can just hold this or flow this up and down. If the foot is in front, yeah, yeah, just moving up and down like a rainbow. All right, two more times, inhale over, Exhale down, All right? And preparing to touch the ground with that left hand and then squaring everything down and lift the right leg high this time. Keep it square. Yeah, we're gonna explore the cross body. All right, right knee. Can you touch the right elbow in front? And straighten the right leg up. Right knee, hugs under the body. And up again, right knee crossing behind that lift wrist and up again and step up right foot between the hands quick yeah agility all right heel down this time open externally exhale down here loosen the round loosen the wrist and then flipping all right inhale 
right arm opens exhale folding to circle all right so this circular motion is a good way for us to break free from the stagnation all right and we're twisting all right the left hand down the floor bend your knee if you need or you can step that back foot a little bit forward and twist away from me our left hand is the bottom hand and the top shoulder up now you can just wrap the arm around the back if lifting is difficult for your breathing and then just hold it there and staying breathe this one inhaling through the nose out through the nose and stay all right and then from there yeah from this twisting yeah right hand down yeah shift forward and lift the left leg high if you're happy with both hands down or lift your right, left arm up right, and stay all right we're gonna square both hands to floor squaring the hip all right inhale forward exhale to the back all right both hands down step and lower your flow yeah you may stay here for a moment just you yeah, swim the hips around and when you're ready open the spine and exhale to the back all right let's do that one more time inhale body forward shoulders over the hands push strongly into your plank exhale don't collapse the hips you may drop or flip from here inhale and exhale behind you downward dog and then just pedal the legs bending and stretching all right beautiful all right alternate three-legged dog again this time make it more fluid all right or you can just let that foot fold there sometimes i do this too just to stretch that armpit and then walking up and down this time can we bounce down with dog finding that agility all right left leg up and thread the left knee through between the hands and the right heel down notice the effect like you're energized and then you can feel there like blockages trying to make their way out of the nostrils we can clear them yeah later on all right let's slow this on inhale scoop it from the back lift upwards and exhale to the floor inhale although our practice is strong yeah you can always adapt yeah because they're doable yeah they're not complicated positions just mimic the basic shape of the pose and you're fine all right hands down tucking that foot push bring this hip with you and step yeah quickly right foot up good and the left heel down facing forward first way you know and then generous breath to lengthen the side body and exhale to soften all right make sure there's a healthy gap between your neck shoulder and the ear so you don't want to be crunching yeah armpits wrapped to the front so your shoulders can move through the joints healthily all right body over the thigh yeah, you can adjust it foot closer so you can twist lighter towards your right hip all right then stay yeah breathe this one yeah the twist the breathing pattern is every time you inhale you may want to loosen and entangle exhale go deep into your twist well done all right and cross left hand is the pressing hand you can do this side press and circle round over the foot in front and then just rainbow the arm up and down all right two more times the breath inhale as you shift to the front exhale back all right ready to swim the hand down and lift the left leg high behind us to three-legged dog all right exploring left knee can it touch the left elbow and rise up left knee can it touch the chest under and up again left knee to the right elbow and up again all right ready this foot all the way up and heel down active open wide across since you know that after the activity is the restoration yeah you have that inspiration you know, finish all right inhale stretch and reach exhale bend and relax keep going breathing into the back exhale to the front inhale over 
and exhale ready for the twisting triangle now hand you step bend the knee if you need you can just rest the arm to our bind uh, open up and wide you can even cross that hand outside the foot if you've done this technique before all right straight but not locked so just a light bend here push down and not soft breathe and then here you can look down your up your eye, fingertips there or if your balance is off you can just find a case where the balance remains strong all right prepare that left hand bend catch and open and stay if for example you can't do it but yeah with the hands to floor it's difficult you can do yeah, this floating body and projecting the right leg up all right both hands square half square inhale up and lunge to the back all right find the floor you can do the power press drop low yeah linger a moment or two before you open up and under the back we do a down dog one more time breathing in body forward exhale body down inhale body up exhale body back all right in here hit the floor or hit the chest walking up and down all right you can just stay here for five piercing breath through the nostrils or you can join me practicing the kapal body keep going five four three two and one you know, inhale have slighted exhale have stretch all right you can walk the dog all right eyes to the front crouch like a frog there and stretch to the back all right you can move the hands to recover all right bending and stretching and pressing all right. next time you can just step outside the hand or at the top of that next inhalation spring your way up to stand in and jumping and landing wide all right flip your hands pierce the breath up and exhale the breath down all right now loosen the rest right. you might just stay here yeah the deep squat position good for releasing yeah, the pelvic the cavity yeah, releasing stagnation there is a good one or you can progress the hand press right body forward inhale to shift over the front exhale linger inhale rising your feet and exhale to settle and stay three two one you can touch mildly down or bring this to a jump back and flow up and to the back well done good energizing opening and also cleansing and clearing how about one more keep going five four three two and one lighten your hips in here and exhale to the back you can just cross through or if you want to jump the cross through and sit do that beautiful legs cross how's that quick complete mindful and determined at the end of it if you only have this amount of time 10 minutes 15 minutes use it in a productive practice you can just do this class over and over again actually it's a good one All right. inhale arms lift exhale down two more times inhale travel the breath of the fingertips 
Exhale. If you want to learn the Kapalbhati, that breathing exercise we practice, I have a number of tutorials on this channel, so you may just have a look or let me know. Good. And seal, exhale to the heart. All right. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Enjoy and have a productive one.